John Langston Gwaltney, African American anthropologist. Born 1928, died 1998. John Langston Gwaltney has distinguished himself as an anthropologist, writer, and educator. He has contributed to the ethnographic understanding of African American culture and researched the role of blindness in the China Tech Indian culture. John Gwaltney was born in Orange, New Jersey on September 25, 1928 to Mabel Harper Gwaltney and John Stanley Gwaltney. At two months of age, it was determined that John Gwaltney was blind. His large extended family surrounded and supported him throughout his childhood. His father, a merchant seaman, was frequently absent from the household, making the presence of his other family members even more important. Mabel Gwaltney made several attempts to find a cure for her son's blindness. Neither medical science nor religious healers corrected his vision. Once John was old enough to attend school, Mabel Gwaltney wrote a letter to Eleanor Roosevelt about the First Lady's efforts to establish special education for handicapped children. Eleanor Roosevelt responded and helped John Gwaltney enroll in a school for the blind. As an avid and independent student, he excelled in his studies. Gwaltney entered Uppsala College in East Orange, New Jersey, in order to remain in close proximity to his family, and his mother had grown ill from diabetes, as his mother grew ill from diabetes. He studied political science and sociology, inspired by his father's travels and his childhood memories of Margaret Mead's radio speeches. Gwaltney received his Bachelor of Arts degree in 1952, a short time after his mother passed away. Gwaltney attended the New School of Social Research, completing the master's program there in 1957. He studied the conflicts of the colonization of Africa, paying particular attention to the Mau Mau Uprising, a bloody war fought for Kenya's independence. After earning his master's degree, he briefly taught at the Henry George School of Social Science in New York City in order to finance his graduate studies. In 1959, he enrolled in Columbia University's Graduate School of Anthropology. He began working on his doctoral dissertation with Margaret Mead, who supervised his field study of the China Tech Indians near Oaxaca, Mexico. Partially supported by a fellowship grant from the National Institutes of Health, Gwaltney conducted ethnographic research in the remote China Tech village with special reference to an endemic disease borne by flies that resulted in blindness. One out of every 20 villagers suffered from, such con from this condition, which was known as Robble's disease or river blindness. Gwaltney spent more than a year with the Indians collect collecting data for his dissertation. In 1967, his study won the prestigious Columbia University Ansley Dissertation Award. In 1970, his thesis was published as a book entitled The Thrice Shy. Cultural Accommodations, the Blindness, and Other Disasters in a Mexican Community. Gwaltney received his doctoral degree in 1967 and accepted a position at the State University of New York at Cortland. During his associate professorship, he studied the Shina Kak and Pustpatak Indians of Canada and embarked on his first study of African American culture. He transferred to Syracuse University in 1971, where he taught anthropology courses and started to accumulate a series of African-American oral narratives. Gwaltney compiled these narratives together to create his book, Dry Long So, African-American slang meaning ordinary or nothing unusual. 
Dry Long So, published in 1981, documents the ideas, values, and attitudes of the ordinary African American. Gwaltney did not impose his interpretations onto the narratives. His ethnographic research allows each individual's voice to stand alone and function as its own interpretation of culture, a technique known as native anthropology. For this publication, he won the first Association of Black Anthropologists Publication Award. Gwaltney was accepted, has accepted numerous positions within anthropological organizations. He is a fellow of the American Anthropological Society, the American Ethnological Society, and the Society for Applied Anthropology. He also contributes to a program in African Studies funded by the National Science Foundation. In 1987, Gwaltney won the Robert F. Kennedy Book Award for the, dissent, for the Dissenters, 1986, a collection of interviews with revolutionaries from all walks of life. In this book, Gwaltney explores the social and anthropological necessity of dissent and rebellion. In 1991, Gwaltney retired from Syracuse University to, de to devote more time to his family, his writing, and other pursuits. He currently lives in Oregon with his wife Judith Gwaltney, where he spends time with his two children, Karen and Peter, and works as a writer and an artist. Gwaltney carves wood into works of art that represent his African-American heritage, his carving of an African-American ceremonial staff was exhibited at Syracuse University in 1983. Citations are in the description.